Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we have new comic book day. In this video we have four weeks worth of new comics because I have not visited my LCS in about four weeks. So let's get into it and show you what we got. Alright guys, here we have our stack of comics. This is 16 issues for the last four weeks including March 13th, 20th, 27th, and yesterday, April 3rd, 2024. Also picked up a couple of the preview issues and the newsletter as well. And they did give me this bag advertising free comic book day. So it's coming up the first Saturday in May. If you guys are interested in dipping your toes into some of the titles without having to pay for them, free comic book day is a great place to do that. And usually they limit you to like three issues of free comics at your LCS. But if you live near a couple, it's a good, good chance to go and pick up a, a few different things. So March 13th and 20th, I was just out of town. And then the 27th, I was just kind of lazy, didn't go to the LCS. So I picked up everything yesterday on the 3rd. But let's go ahead and get started with the oldest one first. This one is from March 13th. This one also has, I think, the most issues out of the weeks that I have. All right, first up we have Speed Force number five at the Rick and Morty Super Spring Break Special. Pretty thick issue there. Next we have Green Lantern number nine. Looking forward to this one. And I also do like the fact that some of these titles have backup issues. Looking forward to reading that as well. Next we have TMNT 149, last issue before 150, and this is the Eastman cover. Next up, we got Action Comics Batman and Robin, number seven. And that's pretty much it for the 13th. There were six issues from that. Next up we have March 20th. Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver number two. I also saw the previews and they're restarting the Scarlet Witch ongoing at number one, I think in a month or two. So I'm really not sure like what they're doing with this title I read quite a bit of the run right before this. I think it only went like 10 issues. And I'm just not sure. I, I don't know what they really do 
if it was meant to be a mini series or if it just got canceled for another reason. But yeah, that's Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, number two. We got Superman, number 12. The Walking Dead, 85. Really looking forward to jumping back into this one. Batman Superman World's Finest number 25. It's an oversized issue. Just loving everything about this. The writing, the art. Looking forward to, to this as well. So there were four issues in that week. Next week here we have the 27th, and I only have two issues on this one. First one is The Flash, number seven. I gotta say, I'm a little bit behind on this one. I just read the first couple issues of this run a couple days ago. And I really I really am interested in the direction that they're going with it. Um, looks like Barry's just, at least from where I'm at right now, Barry's out of pocket. And Wally's, I guess he's the lead Flash right now in the universe. And people were a little disappointed to see Jeremy Adams leave the title, but um, I'm, I'm not really, you know, it, it happens and he's on Green Lantern and I'm enjoying that one as well, so. And then Alan Scott, Green Lantern number five. That's it for that week, just two titles. And then this most current week, which actually is Ghost Machine Day, but I don't have any Ghost Machine titles in here, just let you guys know that right now. I have, I think, two or three of the titles ordered on DCBS, so I'm getting those through there. And it should come in the order that I should be getting in a few days, because I've usually been getting them at the end of the first week of the month. So I'm hoping that those titles will be included in there in that shipment, but we'll see. I also know that they've sent me an email that they're gonna be moving some of the shipping weeks. So I'm not sure when that takes effect, but we'll find out. All right, first up we have Shazam, number 10. Deep Cuts, number six. This one's Worldwide, 1977, The Great Unknown. Batman 146, Dark Prisons Part 2, this 
So we have punchline in here. Oh, this looks interesting. This ad here, I, ha I haven't heard of this yet, just until now. Uh, House of Brainiac, a three month crossover. That's cool, interesting. And lastly, The Walking Dead Deluxe 86. So I got two issues of Walking Dead Deluxe because these have been coming out every two weeks, which I'm glad for. Didn't read the original run and I have been reading this pretty much almost religiously, caught up to the latest issue. Now I got these two to, to read, probably do that today. And then we got DC Connect 47 preview issue. Also got this preview issue for Planet of the Apes. And it looks like an actual issue because like these DC ones, they just tell you what's coming out and when. This one looks like an actual like preview comic. So there's stuff in here. So I guess that's, I guess just promoting the title in the movie maybe. Like they're really just putting a lot of marketing, I guess, around Planet of the Apes. And that's cool that they're putting out a free issue like this ahead of free comic book day, which is pretty cool. And I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are a fan of Planet of the Apes. I'm a huge fan of Planet of the Apes. Coming out May 10th in theaters. Been watching every single trailer as soon as it drops. And I just recently rewatched the three most recent movies. But I love that they're doing a little bit of a time jump, changing up a little bit. Really looking forward to that. And then the comic shop news for April 3rd. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in till the end. I do have a, quite a bit of organizing to do with all the hauls that I've had over the past month. Just been doing a lot of traveling, haven't had a chance to do that. But I have been starting to catch up on my reading and I wanna know if you guys wanna see like a room tour of all the stuff that I have once I get everything sorted out. Let me know down in the comments below. I also am not sure if I'm gonna be going to C2E2 at the end of April. It's in Chicago. I am from Chicago and visit several times uh, a year, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm just not sure at this point. Let me know if you guys would enjoy some videos from C2E2. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in more new comic book days, hauls, conventions, and anything comic book related, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.